All right, it is Saturday, it's July 3rd. So mostly this week is getting ready for the next lookbook. It's been a busy week. I have not even had time to shave all this off, so I'm gonna go do that right now before we go out. It's hot. It's mad windy. We came here the other day and we got the worst lunch.
our money back. Got our money back. That's how. No, it hit zero. Uh. Twenty-two cents left if we lose. And if we lose, we leave. <laughs> That's it. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so close. We almost got so fucked. But we didn't. We're back. We're back to our 142. It's all on red. We got 22 cents left. Here's to hoping. 53 will win a lot of money. Nope. We just lost it all. Every last bit. <laughs> We're leaving Resort World. Sadly. We lost. We were up, we were down. Fifth floor. We're down again, and now we're done. Well, you gotta get up to get down. But know? lunch was great. Fabulous lunch. The dumplings, not quite Japanese. The brisket, not quite Texas. The chicken sandwich, not quite Louisiana. But the corn was good. The corn was good. All of it was pretty solid. Like, if I was staying in a resort world, I'd be happy with the food choices. Expensive. But that's Vegas. That's Vegas, baby. Uh, this is why you do not gamble, ladies and gentlemen. You will lose. You will eventually lose. The buildings are huge, everything is fancy, and the reason is, is because you are gonna lose. If you like the entertainment, have at it. But it, you're gonna lose. We lost 200 bucks today. 200 bucks. And uh, the real key, the real key to gambling and really anything in life is um, knowing when to say when. 200 bucks is more than enough for me. And I'll probably say win for a quite a while. But you know, we've won on, you know, who knows? You know, it's like the, this is the real trap is that uh, you'll always be like, well, I won that one time, so really, but in the end, you always lose. Anyway, I, rest of the day, today, Saturday, July 4th, tomorrow, doing my best to avoid humans. I have a drop coming, lookbook, finishing it up. These came in, or this sample came in. We got the carpet, teddy bear carpet that Omar's already laid on, but these are pretty sick. Not really the, cheapest thing to get made either but uh yeah so carpets and then i've been working a lot on shorts put out some pants this season a couple months ago and now we have a short that we've been working on and so one of the most frustrating things about making stuff is like, seeing what will work and the shit that doesn't work but this sample we try to do an embroidered dragon on this short and it's just too crazy like the embroidery is not able to stay uh consistent it's tight i mean you see stuff like this all the time we used to make fun of like adidas shoes like oh you guys put that weird looking tiger on that shoe it looks weird but like same thing like, this looks passable but it's not it's not really good enough so it will not be coming out and it's honestly kind of heavy but the short is gonna come out it's just not gonna have um a dragon on it basically we have these shorts come in which have the pattern the bear pattern too dark don't really fit the way i like uh they didn't have pockets which they were supposed to have i don't like these at all way too thin like way 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 too thin so there's a lot of trial and error that goes into these things it's not just like well at least for me it's not just um pick a garment and go the whole rest of this day is really me just organizing the rest of the drop we have the mona lisa coming in this drop this whole drop is kind of filtered around uh museum or like art like i don't know how to explain it gallery vibe for this one is not my goal. I don't know if we'll see. Regardless, it's a drop. It's hit the bike off 70 miles so far this week. We'll probably go again tomorrow. Legs are cooked. Back in the gym. Three days a week. Three days full body. We've moved off of a split. I'm just over the push-pull split for right now. And just uh, I think it's a good balance. Three days in the gym, four days, five, six, seven days on the bike. And then the rest of the time working on art, figuring out tattoos, getting on with life. So I have travel plans coming. Well, I'm booking tattoos. Here, let's put us down. We've walked around the house enough. All right, so uh, I'm booking tattoos for Las Vegas right now until July 20th. I was gonna come to Atlanta. Direct flights are something of the past and they don't really exist right now. So flying to Atlanta is actually a huge pain in the ass with like two connecting flights or at least one and I'm not into it. I had a flight connection on the way home, wasn't into it. I know it sounded like a bougie bitch, but I'm not into it. So I'm gonna go to San Francisco in July. My homegirl just opened a shop down in the Mission. I'm probably just gonna go there and tattoo for a few days because I can drive, possibly stay in California a couple more days here and there. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but uh, I think I'm gonna go west. 
I'm also kind of thinking about just driving east. I have the Tesla bed and I haven't used it and I'm trying to, this is a trial run. California is a trial run. Looking for a building, I mean, I'm kind of like scouring around town for buildings to look at. I can't find shit. So everything's like really expensive. They want like a five year lease or it's just not what I'm trying to do. So we'll see, you know, that's just what's going on with that. It's time to get a drop done, son. All right, so I am back smoking uh, weed in the house again. So we did, we ordered a little, uh, little flower. This is from Jardine, Deadhead OG. And then this is uh, Lemon Zest. So it's, I think it's their $100 ounces. So it's not top of the line, but we'll see. I don't really, I don't know. I haven't smoked flower in a long time, really. Whew. See, I don't think we hit the 100. Oh, almost. We skipped Monday because I was still tired from traveling. Now, look, book, finish it, get it out there. Probably gonna be tomorrow. But, gotta get up in the morning, man. Gotta get up before everybody else. Gotta get your chi up. Gotta get, raise your chi. Some liquids in you. Get creative, bro. Can't get creative waking up when everybody else wakes up. Gotta get a head start, bro. Early bird shit. That's how you gotta do it. Unless you're really tired sleeping. But you should only be really tired because you stayed up doing shit. Not because you stayed up doing dumb shit. Come on, Anna. So it is Monday. Fourth of July was last night. We did not do anything. We ate Chinese food, which is probably the most non-Fourth of July thing that you can do. Anyway, bike ride this morning, 16 miles, 90 degrees. So now we're gonna make breakfast. We're gonna clean. We're gonna go to the grocery store today. We've got the lookbook drop in the car. You know, this whole new drop, got the Mona Lisa coming. This is an art piece. You could hang this on the wall if you want. They're surely going to be limited. So, uh, yeah. But those will be dropping pretty soon. Friends and family lookbook is on the way. Mona Lisa. Other stuff. Which I'm calling Vincenzo's Revenge. Uh, Vincenzo, the guy's name who stole the Mona Lisa. So, this is his revenge. Went to Trader Joe's yesterday. Only to get this. Shit is crack. They sell this at Whole Foods. But it's like four dollars or something over there. So it's like a dollar ninety nine. It's fire. So we're gonna make some eggs. Oh, what's in there? That's not what you want me to care about. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's like another tiger. You don't even like these kind of toys. Alex says our yard looks different. What's different? They just cut these branches? Oh yeah, it's a lot of room. Yeah, and they trimmed the rose bush in the back. What you think, Omar? They're done messing with the yard. You guys can stop being concerned. So, I just got back from looking at a few buildings. I don't really, so, well first thing, today's the fifth anniversary of the vlog, which is pretty crazy. It's uh, been quite the ride, obviously the last few weeks have been a crazy part of the ride, but uh, the whole ride, just from everything, is super crazy. And just the fact that people tune in, um, buy shirts, join friends and family, get tattooed, everything is just super cool. And I'm really uh, grateful that I still get to do this. And I'm grateful that I get to um, share my life, you know, as fucking ridiculous as it is sometimes. Uh, speaking of ridiculousness, I went and looked at a bunch of buildings today, not knowing what the fuck I want to do. So uh, I did find one building that's really close to the strip, like really close to the strip, uh, which is not too bad. It's a little crazy. It's a little weird. It's, you know, off strip is not fancy. Let's just get that out of the way. So the place from the outside doesn't look amazing. On the inside, it's actually like pretty cool. It's an old like banquet hall. So it's actually pretty cool, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to set up shop here. I don't know if I want to travel. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'm just kind of playing each card as it gets dealt. And the other thing is, is I went and got some new cheap nails. Your boy's about to take some dabs. So this is my next project. I have, uh, I've been talking about dropping a sketchbook. So this thing, this tote is pretty much full of random sketches. There's some sketchbooks. There's a lot of stuff underneath there. I don't know, a lot. So what I'm doing is taking the next little bit and go through all those sketches, refine a bunch of them, and then put out 
uh, sketchbook. Really just trying to stay creative, be more creative, kind of not pay attention to really anything or anybody else, because uh, I don't fucking care and I just can't care. Like, the world is so hard to care about, you know? I used to love getting on Twitter and shooting the shit with people, and I've complained about this a few times, but lately, it's just like, it's a bombardment of shit. It's all shit. It's so hard. It's so hard to navigate through. So, um, that's lost its fun, which, you know, you can sit and complain about things like sucking. It's like a restaurant. You know, if the restaurant starts sucking and you keep going back, well, you're the sucker. I'm trying to get my travel plan set, trying to figure out San Francisco, Atlanta, North Carolina, I will come in Virginia, I will come afterwards or soon, I promise. Oh, and no more gambling. Mom, that's another reason. Like, Vegas is great and cool and I love it here. And man, when you get bored, there's really like not a lot to do. That's why people end up gambling. You're just kind of like, oh, let's go get something to eat. And the fancy stuff is down on the strip and you pass a bunch of machines and then you start playing, you start to normalize it and it's not normal. I'm gonna stop <laughs> because I don't really want to keep doing it. I gotta go put money in a machine and possibly win some money, but I also could put money into my business and create more things and sell them and make money that way. Anyway, this is the start of a new week. We'll see how it pans out. I'm out. Peace. Oh, I ordered some shoes. Another pair of 21s because they're the best shoe out. But yeah, they're on the way. And some shorts. And an Adidas bike uh, bib because I just wanted to try it out. But anyway, yeah, did that. All right, it's for real though. Peace.